Trump supporters, you are going to be fucking happy with this video. So, I haven't been making these videos simply because the election changes so much from week to week where I almost feel like, okay, do you need me? No, you can probably just look at 538's like Nowcast or something like that. That'll tell you how the polling, their polling is adjusting the or to the election, right? So you don't really need me on a day-to-day -day basis or a week-to-week -week basis, but I can show you the more, I, more correct electoral outcome, I suppose. So when you look at the trends, uh, if you look at the FBI investigation going on right now, the shy Trump supporters, when you include these little aspects into the election, not just the polling, right? Because there's evidence to believe that the polling could be rigged, right? Is that a controversial comment? I guess not this year. Um, some would say it is, some would say it's not, whatever, doesn't matter, okay? This is a video that you will look at and you'll be like, oh, I don't know if that's possible. But then come November 9th and you'll look back and you'll be like, holy fucking shit. How did you get all that right? And you'll find out. So basically, um, there's three parts of it, uh, of what's going to happen. And I already said um, the trends, the FBI, and the try, or shy Trump supporters. And right now you're looking at the mainstream media map, as I'll call it, where you look at the states that could be considered swing states. You look at all of the states Hillary's going to win. And right now she's at Obama numbers. And she's very close to winning a landslide. She just needs to you know, win one state that she is not supposed to win. Like Missouri, Georgia, or Texas. Utah is obviously um, a swing state because of the Mormon that is running for president. I think his name's like McCollin or something. I, I don't, who cares? Whatever, doesn't matter. Um, but basically, let me show you guys the reality. So... The map today is not going to be that. This is like the best case scenario for Clinton. So the one thing you have to look at is the trends. And basically the trend is leading to basically Clinton being up 2% of Trump by election day. So by election day, Clinton's average polling should be about 2% above Trump. And that's not assuming anything with the FBI or the shy Trump supporter. So what does that mean? So number one, he's going to win Arizona and he's going to win Ohio, if I can click it, and Iowa, right? He's going to win Iowa, Nebraska, no district will be taking, taken away. And then obviously Florida, North Carolina, those are going to be very swing, <laughs> possibly, possibly swing states, right? Um, they more likely than not to be swing states and same with Nevada. So currently though, you know, Clinton still leads, whatever. So this is the map that I think a lot of uh, people in the mainstream media keep talking about where they're like, okay, he, he's got to win all the swing states. And then one on top of that, where you look at all of these, if he were to win all of them. And then take one away from Clinton, like Michigan or PA, uh, New Hampshire, anything like that, Virginia, or Virginia, Colorado. If he can win one of those on top of winning all the swing states, then he wins, but it's not likely. That's what you keep hearing. That's where the narrative comes from. Um, but So that's the trends, right? That's where things are going. And if you actually look at, if that trend continues, right, uh, assuming based off of the current average polling if it continues going the way it is he's going to win nevada north carolina and florida right and a lot of people would say that's the best case scenario but the fbi investigation is going on right now right um or the opening for it the floodgates are opened and obviously you can have your opinion on it whatever but in terms of the way it affects the elections um nate silver actually said this he said the last time it happened it costs hillary Guess what? Two percentage points. Now, you might say, oh, well, it's just two percentage points. What does that matter? So let me explain why it's a big deal. If Hillary is above, let's say, in a state like Pennsylvania by, let's say, eight points, right? She's up by eight points. She's actually up by six points. So, but we'll say it's eight points for the sake of this, right? We'll be conservative in that number. Like, okay, Hillary has a lock on Pennsylvania, like everyone is saying, and it's eight points. So if the trend continues and Trump gets two points and this FBI scandal on top of that trend adds another two percentage points and he now will have four points, be four points higher nationally than, um, than what he is now, 
What does that mean? So basically, that means if he were to go up 4%, he would be tied in Pennsylvania with Hillary Clinton. Remember, if she has an eight-point lead, you don't have to get eight points. You have to get half of that because then it evens itself out. Then you are tied. That eight becomes four for Clinton, four for Trump, right? So there's that aspect of it. So literally, because of the trends and the FBI scandal, and this is why people are panicking in the Clinton campaign, where even Hillary, you can look at the way she speaks. She, I really think just listening to her, she thinks she lost. She literally thinks she lost. So that is going to put the states that um, we were talking about a little while ago into play. So Colorado, New New Hampshire, Maine, the District of Maine, uh, Pennsylvania, Virginia, so on and so forth. Let's say around that. We'll keep those as swing states right now. But then on top of all of that is the um, shy Trump supporters. So you have all of this happening, right? All of it happening. And we have to figure out, okay, so what is the amount of shy Trump supporters? And there's been a lot of data trying to figure this out. Um, it seems that the consensus right now is that it's about four to six percent. Okay, about four to six percent. And remember when I was saying that you have to take whatever um, the difference is, and then you just have to get half of that difference. So, for example, in Pennsylvania, if you're up eight points, your opponent just needs to go up four points, and then you're tied, right? Because if you go up four points, that means the opponent is dropping four points, right? So if that is the case, and if the shy Trump supporter is truly four to six percent, and remember, Obama in 2012, his shy Obama supporter was four percent. Remember that. You might not think that that was the case, but it was four percent. So what does that mean? It means that added to the trends, added to the FBI, which together uh, Trump would go up 4%, adding the shy Trump supporter, which is, you know, 4 to 6%, that means that Trump could literally be above 16 to 20 points. 16 to 20 points after the election is over. It could literally be that big of a difference. And that's what people don't seem to be understanding. So first of all, let me show you the conservative map um, of what I think is the, maybe not the least or most likely, but what I would anticipate being the minimum. Okay, so Colorado, Pennsylvania, Virginia, let's see, New Hampshire, Maine. Let me see. And then, okay, so we have Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, we got New Jersey, we got Connecticut, we got Rhode Island, okay? So that's basically what the map looks like, and that is actually a Trump, it just so happens to be a Trump landslide. Isn't that funny? It just so happens that when you add in the minimum tr Trump supporter, you adjust for the trends that are currently taking place, and you add the FBI scandal that, oh my goodness, Trump is winning in a landslide, a landslide, excuse me if I can talk, a literal landslide. So this is what the map looks like. But this is the conservative part. This is assuming the Trump, shy Trump supporter is 4%, just like Obama. But there's actually more evidence saying that it's 6%, which is not totally, like, unheard of. Remember, in, like, the 40s, for example, Harry Truman, everyone thought he was going to lose, but he had 10% um, of try or shy supporters. Harry Truman in 19, was it 44, had a very, very, or actually that would be 48, wouldn't it? In 48, would have um, basically the same... 20 point difference differential that um trump would have today so it's very similar this is going to be a very similar to 1948 election where everyone thought thomas dewey was going to win but actually trump is going to win <laughs> the same way harry truman won so let me show you guys the other states that actually you know what um yeah yeah so let me show you guys the other states so <sighs> this is assuming that he gets the other two percent um, added onto the shy Trump supporter. So that means he wins Oregon. Washington and Illinois are swing states. Could go up. They're still in the margin of error. 
Um, he wins New Mexico. He does not win Hawaii, believe it or not. You know, Hawaii, those people don't really like him. Um, they just don't. Uh, <laughs> shocker, right? Uh, he wins Delaware. You know, fascinating, wins Delaware. And that's <laughs> that's the map, right? Um, so those could go either way. And there's one more swing state, though. There's one more swing state. Oh, he wins Maine. I should say that. But uh, there's one more swing state. Can you guys guess what it is? <laughs> if every, all of this happens. Now, this is... And that would mean that um, it's within one percentage point, right? One percentage point if basically Trump gets the absolute best scenario. What seems to be the most... Um, I guess hopeful, the most optimistic scenario to come his way. There's one state. Do you guys know what it is? Get, take a guess. Let me show you guys. I'm going to click it. Nope, it's going to be New York. New York, believe it or not, believe it or not, will have a 1.5 point um, favorite for Clinton, right? But that's also, again, in the margin of error from what we know. So literally, New York will be a swing state. I know it sounds crazy as hell, but in terms of the best scenario possible for Trump. So I think this is the absolute best map you will see for Trump. Um, do I think this will happen? I have no fucking idea. Because um, the way the elections work, they never fully go the way you anticipate. Um, I think that it'll be closer to the first portion of the video I showed you guys where he basically gets the landslide. Um but yeah, I think it's going to be between that 373 electoral votes and this 452. That is my guess. It's going to be one of those two. And I, was, I remember I was saying Trump was going to win California before, but California keeps going closer and closer to Clinton. Um, I suspect that's because the Jerry or Gary Johnson support in California is going towards Clinton as well. Um, taking away more from Trump. So that that is the assumption. But yeah, this is pretty much it. You're crazy crazy if this would happen i hope it does and i but i am very confident he will win the 373 at least so thank you for watching um if you're a trump supporter you have every reason to believe he is going to win this election it there's very little that could happen i believe um to make trump lose right uh it would have to be another crazy scandal to happen in the next week if that doesn't happen then yeah expect trump to just fucking grope that woman's pussy, right? So, anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day and a better tomorrow. See, isn't that kind to say? Okay, thank you. All right, see you, bye.